picked up our new hammock. <gasps> it's a beautiful hammock. Yeah. And just halfway through the process of checking out. Wow, that's a bit exciting. Yeah. And what day is it? Check out the... Do you know the date? Um, I don't know. I don't 22nd know. of October, 2018. 22nd of October, 2018. It's my nephew's birthday today, I think. And we're leaving Marina Chappas, heading mm. north to... Well, hopefully... Hoping to leave today. Going to what? what's called Watuko. We're heading west and we're going to Watuko. When you might want to go north, but we're not going that way yet. Well, okay, northish, northwest. No, west. Northwest? West. Okay, we're going west. Yeah. Out into the deep blue. Yeah. So, when? How are you feeling? I'm actually feeling a little bit nervous and apprehensive because I'm so used to being in a marina. I've got to go out into the big water. I've got to remember how to do it all. So, uh, excited, but it'll be apprehensive. And the uh, the dogs are coming, or dog. Yeah. She's coming around the corner now, so we're off soon. Yeah. Yeah. Here they come. We're just waiting for the dog to arrive and to get the go ahead to leave. And when we do, we have to turn this beautiful fan off. It's been good to us. It saved the boat from mold. And we've enjoyed having it in here for the time that we've been in the marina. Yes. It's time. It's time. It's time. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. Yeah. I'm gonna put this in reverse before we hit the jetty. And what is it in Hawaii? Aloha. Pardon? Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, brother. See you all soon somewhere. Yeah. Ciao. What is it? Adios. 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 Thanks for everything again, charts and books. Thank you so much. Well, thank you viewers. We have the wine. Oh yeah. Well, Capitan, how do you feel? Um, nervous and excited. It's a weird feeling. Yes. Yeah. It's been a while. Bye-bye, Marina Chippers! Yeah, see you up the, up the coast somewhere.
I'm on the horizon right now. Seasickness. Horizon, that's my thought. Because I haven't been on any wobbly water for a while. So it's going to take, I'm going to have to get sick, grow sick legs again, I think. But it's good to be out here. Yeah, the engine's shut the engine off. We've um, just sailing now, four sails up. afternoon clouds building and the crazy surf bash and the beaches but um, it's a beautiful afternoon we picked a good one a reasonable swell rolling in but long period and the navy's over there they came and had a bit of a gecko you can just see them over there just making sure everything's kosher and uh, the two lines out so hopefully get a fish on as the sun starts to go down. Yeah, it feels good. Feels bloody fantastic. We're never gonna spend that much time ashore again. Ever. Who needs a catamaran when you can sit on now? It's dropped down to eight knots. It was sitting on 10 knots um, for ages. So, who needs a catamaran when you can do these sort of speeds in a 40-year-old monohull? I've been sitting on between eight and a half and ten and a half knots for hours. Um, that's a good old hands Christian. Here we are. We just come across the um, Golfo de Tuanapec, which... Um, is notorious for super bad weather. And has it been bad, Wendy? Um, it could have been worse. <laughs> How? More than 45 knots we could have got. It was, it was 55. Oh, now. I wasn't up here then. And what have we lost? We've lost one, what, 40 litre water container went over litre. the side, 100 litre. We've lost our little light, that's gone. We've lost a boat hook that just disappeared. We nearly lost a fishing hand fishing line, but I saved it. And nearly lost peanut. And we nearly lost the dinghy. So uh, yeah, and we're soaked. Just look at those. Look at. And we're look at that water. We're sort this of. Us cranking along at ten knots, guys. And this is miles. This is after. Oh yeah. Look, we've We've been brave enough to get the camera out now. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. Wow. The water was coming over here. Yeah. And we've got gunnels. Big gun. So over the gunnels and over here, it's like a swimming pool down the side of the boat. It was exhilarating. Yeah. It's backed off now to about, I don't know if you can hear me, but it's backed off to about, um, 25s now. Absolutely magic day to be doing 10 knots on an old monohull. in Mexico fishing for 15 minutes we've got a record size mahi mahi on straight away it's for you Chris from Secret Water who can't fish close yeah oh yeah oh yes baby That's it, nice. it's a 
bigger, bigger than yours. <laughs> right, I'm going to hold him up for the photo. Photo or video? Both. Both. Okay. Right. Don't let him. Don't let him go, Rat. What happened? Guess what happened? Without a word, lie. He was that big. You look like you're about to cry. I'm about to cry. One each now. You lost one, I've lost one. That was dinner for like a month. Anyway, there's more out there. Funny, they look, turn on their side and they look at you. So lucky. got a Tommy turtle. So look at this, dolphins, turtle. Wow, look at that one, another turtle. Another turtle, another 10 dolphins. Here comes a grey. Oh, a sea snake. Look at them all! Wow! Come on with it! There must be 20 or 30 here just bringing us in like they do. These guys straight on the left from standing on the bathroom. It's just beautiful. I just want to jump in there and go for a swim with them. This place is so different to where we've just come from. It's like um, going from zero tourism to tourism central. Yeah, quite a Overwhelming, actually. What's happened, mate? Well, we're at Ratuko. We're sitting on the beach, beachside, at a bar, looking for Rona, looking at the ocean. Looking at my fabulous. <laughs> I was just telling a story about how stupid I was today when I went snorkeling. Here's someone who's done a uh, thousand dives, and we were out snorkeling. And there was a barrier of just floats and rope into this no-go zone for boats. And I thought, oh, just... I've been waiting for Wendy, so I put the goggles up on my forehead and just looking around. And then she came along. I thought, I'll dive down under the rope. And um, I dived down, put a snorkel on first, and dive down. I'm free diving down to about three metres, wasn't very deep. Going, oh, these goggles are useless. And my eyes really hurt, and I can't see anything, and the visibility is really bad, and yeah, it's not good. So I was swimming around until I ran out of breath, hop back up again to see where Wendy was, and waiting for Wendy, and I'm going, hang on, my goggles are still on my forehead. So, yeah, just thought I'd share my story. So what's going on? What's been happening? Well, I mean, like, in the last three days. Oh, right. I saw him in the last 25 years. <laughs> um, last three days, we left Puerto Madero. Um, we 
finally got out of there. We've been trying for a while. We finally got out, and this banana boat has just come flying in the beach here. Um, we finally got out, and we headed across the infamous um, Gulf of Tuanapec. Whoa, that's how, you get, that's how you get your passengers off the banana boat, just behind Wendy. You spin it around and you nail it. Um, so the Gulf of Tuanapec is this big gulf here. It's about 216 miles wide. We came across there and it was wild. It was 50 plus knots. And we got here at midnight last night. We pulled up just outside there in this beautiful bay. We anchored up and um, it's a really nice bay. Quiet couple of little boats there and then six o'clock in the morning someone's yelling at us and there's armed men in a in a navy boat and they're yelling and screaming we'd accidentally anchored in their navy military area so we got a hint and we left there and anchored in front of this beach and chilled for a while had breakfast then we went to see the poor captain check it was all right and he he got angry at us uh, so we moved to where the fishing boats are. So we've set up really, we've started really well on our trip into Mexico. We've made the military angry and we've made the local port captain angry. But we knew it all this. So that's what's been happening in the last 25 hours. What are you up to, babe? Um, installing the final part of the HF um, radio system, which is the antenna tuning unit. So I'm just taking it apart to check that everything's tickety boo before we whack it in. This is going in the lazarette, my fav favourite place in the world. Is it all good? Yeah, everything looks good in there. I had to just tighten up one of these cable um, glands just to keep the water out. But I wanted to make sure everything was good inside before I went to all the trouble of installing it. I reckon, I can't remember if I've ever spoken about this before. I reckon all the HF aficionados on boats are all the way around the world would be going, what is that he's got in his hand? Um, but this is a KISS. It's see, www.kiss hash ssb, well not hash, dash dot com. So instead of running earth plates and copper wire and all that stuff through the boat to get an earth for the HF. Just run this and just lay, lay in the bilge, hook it up and that's it. No penetration through the hull, nothing to corrode, nothing go wrong and these work. I was skeptical, I tested it, I put my SWR meter on it and wow, incredible. So. Um, they didn't give me this. I've scored off another guy. This is where we are. It's a beautiful place. I'm gonna go and check out an Irish pub this afternoon. Well, what's going on in the lazarette? Ah, uh, we're playing drill, drill a hole in the side of the boat. Ooh. No, we're just mounting the new ATU. There you go, mate. Okay, thank you. I'm playing TA today. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit different. Well, Rat's a bit smaller than me, so he can he can get in the lazarette a bit easier. Yeah. So we've had to take the old ATU out because that's not suitable for this type of radio. It was suitable for the radio that was stolen. So um, we've got this other ATU which I got with the package deal when I bought that secondhand HF, um, but it's slightly longer, so we're going to have to modify the mounts, which we're just doing now. Very cosy in the lazarette today. Well, yeah. Sauna. Sauna, sauna yeah. 
<laughs> we started early this morning, so uh, it would be nice and cool. But I got carried away doing book work, and all of a sudden it's nine o'clock. So it's warm. <laughs> so, yeah, it's hot. I'm just. Well. I'm going to set this hemming up so you can lay just above the water. But. Um. There's something wrong with it at the moment. You might have to do your uh, maths again. This is the fourth go. I've even used algeo algebra. No. Algebra. And I promised my maths teacher when I left high school that I'd never use algebra again. But we did. We worked out the square root of pi times three. And we should be just touching the water. <laughs> oh. That, pass my beer please. It looks, that's got potential darling. It's a new ad for Corona. <laughs> Mind you, they might need a uh, better model. Uh. This is so nice because you get a bit of cooling down as you're working. Oh. And the water swings you. <laughs> 